this is Coach Ruby. Welcome to Art Empowerment Academy. Please come connect. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I make this beautiful one. To start, I wanted to show you how I tape around the watercolor paper. I wanted to create this very clear, um, clean line by the border. So as you can see, I'm taping around it. And I wanted to create like a thinner space in between two almost identical paintings I'm gonna make. So as you can see, it's a thinner tape. And now I'm just gonna sketch out this desert-like view, I would say. I got inspired by another artist's work and I decided to put two almost identical ones side by side to create like a different feeling as you can see i'm just drawing out the sketch the sun rays and i'm gonna put different colors into them to start with i just put some water into the space that i want with the same color as you can see i started with a light one with yellow I wanted to really spread nicely so I first I put some water onto the paper as you can see I do here the second one is this pink red which I like and I was honestly just feeling the color as I go along I didn't really think ahead of time like which one um, I just felt the color like oh first yellow and then okay second um, pink, red, and then, oh, light blue. Sorry, I don't remember the terms of these exact color by heart, um, but I really like them. And as you can see here is the cool bleeding effect that only watercolors make. The color goes into each other because it's water soluble. And as you can see here, I was like, ooh, I think I want to change the color. So I turned the original blue into green. And I put some more green around. Guess which color I picked for the last one. It's purple. Yay. I really like this palette. A lot of the colors are so vibrant, as you can see, the purple. You can see the bleeding a little bit again, which is really cool. It looks again different when it's dry. Um, and then the final touch is the golden line. As you can see, I am actually patiently <laughs> putting in all the golden, golden lines by the edges. And then I use poster color, poster color and gold. And I blended in a little bit of um, black gouache because I have it already in a tiny palette that I had, the one that I'm holding in my hand, if you can see. Um, and I feel like it will tone down the brightness of the gold. Just keep it a little bit subtle instead of like really shining bright. And it worked. It was really, really nice. As you can see, I was just patiently applying gold all around. I was a little bit worried that it might run out, but it was perfect. It was just perfect. And I even had extra to, um, to do another painting, the other golden lining of the other painting, which I will show you in maybe in another video. Ta-da! Then now the fun part is to get it ready. It's still drying, so I was kind of careful not to touch the color. And because it's like a watercolor block, so I had to use like a little card to carefully open it. I was really like struggling because it was like really tight. I didn't want to kind of touch the wet color. Yay, as you can see, I love it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.